You know, when I get to know new people and the topic of what I do for a living comes up, the first reaction when I tell them that I'm a software engineer is always, whoa, that must mean you make a lot of money, right? And to be honest, that definitely was a thought I had before I chose this career path. So today I'm going to tell you a couple reasons why I love being a software engineer. But before we start, we need to get some cliches out of the way. Many people think that this is a super comfortable job, in which you don't have to do very much. You know, easy stuff. Typing some curly brackets on a keyboard and walk around in fancy offices and enjoy the free food and drinks you get. But unfortunately, that's not true at all. Being a software engineer is a hard job and you'll face new challenges every single day because no two days are the same. There's always some stuff that's breaking your entire application, even if you think that the code you wrote had absolutely nothing to do with the things that don't work anymore. And while you're sitting there and trying to figure out a solution for your problem, there's a deadline slowly approaching you from behind with waiting customers or project leads to see the results of your work. So if you're looking for an easy and chilled job, that's probably not the one for you. Many of my colleagues and developer friends do something completely different in their free time, like gardening or anything really that doesn't necessarily involve computers. I love to work on those videos here for example, because they are nothing like programming but still allow me to put my creativity somewhere else and that's somehow very relaxing for me. But even with all those things I just mentioned, I remain a software engineer and wouldn't prefer any other profession. Why? Well first of all, knowing how to code is really a life-changing skill, because you don't just get to write some code for some business apps, you can create something out of basically nothing. And in my opinion, that is super underrated, because all the tools and building blocks you need to create your own software of any kind are always available and not only that, they're completely free. So once you get good at coding, you can completely automate your life or build tools that are tailored to your needs. There are so many manual tasks in my life I've automated over the years, starting from super simple smart home configurations like automatically dimming the lights in the evening, or automating repetitive tasks with a small script. And recently I even built an entire app for my mom and her little practice, which I'll show you later. You can provide so much value to yourself or the people around you by building something that's actually solving a common problem. And also you can make a lot of money by doing so. Just by knowing how to code, it's completely possible to start a little side project today and maybe wake up in a couple years and run a successful software company. And that's one of the coolest things about coding. You have infinite options and it just depends on what you make of it. Something else I really like about programming is that it's a very creative job. It might not be the first thing that comes to mind when thinking about it, because on the surface it just seems like that you're sitting in a chill office and staring on a screen while sipping some coffee and listening to a lo-fi playlist. But as a programmer you actually have to do a lot of problem solving that actually requires some creativity. For example, when I get a new task to develop a new feature, I usually have a ticket which includes two or three sentences about the desired functionality, and from there on I have to figure out myself how to integrate this new feature into an existing application without breaking anything else. Sometimes I'm working on a difficult problem for hours and don't really know how to solve it, and then later when I'm at home and not actively thinking about it, I just get a new idea on how to approach it. And finally solving a problem after you've been stuck on it for hours or even days is a super satisfying moment for myself. It's such a big reward to see the code that you wrote do exactly what it's supposed to do and committing your work as you're done with it. I'm sure the devs watching can relate. I want to show you the app I built for my mom on which I've been working on for a couple months now and which also inspired me to make this video here. So my mom owns a small podiatric practice and one of her tasks is to document every significant medical condition of the patient and important information about the treatment in some way. And for over 10 years now she has used these paper index cards, which is not only a pain to work with, because imagine finding one specific card in a box of hundreds of other ones, but it also takes away a bunch of space since she has to keep every single one for at least a couple of years. And yes, there definitely are apps like this out there, but they're either very expensive or work on a subscription model, which makes you dependent on them, which is something she never wanted. Additionally, I can make the app exactly how she wants it, and this way she doesn't have to get used to a workflow that she might not even like and can have an app that works perfectly with her preferences and needs. I just really like the significant impact your work can have on so many people. Of course, this really depends on the industry you're working in, but here in Switzerland I often notice that simple tasks are still done manually with lots of paperwork or sending around numerous Microsoft Excel files via email. Digitizing or even automating these processes feels very rewarding and it's fulfilling to see people adopt the software you developed and benefit from it. Whether it makes their processes faster or simply improves their work experience, automating tasks that used to require manual work often comes at the cost of making certain jobs obsolete. 
and while it's probably not very nice to make someone's job redundant, if the overall quality of work improves, it's likely worth it. And yes, of course I have to talk about the compensation and benefits. Sure, money isn't the most important thing in life, but it's a crucial aspect that can make your life much more comfortable and provide opportunities that might not be available if you weren't in a stable financial position. For me personally, it also leads to a much higher job satisfaction because I feel that my work is highly valued resulting in a fair compensation and of course that's something you really appreciate as a developer. It also explains why becoming a software engineer is such a desirable job right now with salary ranges from 100,000 to several hundred thousand dollars, depending on where you're working. If you want to know how much I'm making as a software developer here in Switzerland, check out one of my older videos, but some things have changed since I've released this video and I'm planning to make an updated video on this topic soon, so make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss it. I'm sure many of you have seen the incredible benefits that some software engineers enjoy around the world, like free food and snacks, which I wish we had here. But it's not just that. Some companies offer free healthcare, annual bonuses, equity, or even student loan reimbursement. And all these perks truly add up and make the job even more attractive to pursue. Also another thing I've noticed is that you don't really have a glass ceiling in this industry. There's always room to grow in your position and negotiate even better terms for yourself. And if you make yourself hard to replace by knowing a lot about the company and the project you're working in, they'll be happy to pay what you ask. Well, maybe not happy, but you get what I'm saying. The last aspect I want to talk about is the general collaboration and teamwork which comes with the job, because it's actually a big part of it even though it doesn't always look like it, because you only see software engineers working somewhere alone with their laptops all day long. Working and collaborating with other devs is not only something you have to do in this job, if you like it or not, but it's also something I really learned to appreciate. Because through programming I've had the chance to work with some of the smartest people I know, in doing so, I also became a much better programmer myself. Working with other developers and sharing ideas and different techniques or development approaches is just so beneficial for your own learning. And it also created some kind of competitive thinking in my head, where my goal was to always ensure that the senior devs who reviewed my code had nothing to criticize. Also working on a project with people who have different skill sets is very cool to watch, because you can see the work of each individual slowly merging into a final product through a collective effort. I just have to say that working together with other developers was not only very beneficial for my own skills, but it's actually been one of the greatest aspects of this job for me, and additionally I've also found some good friends through programming in the past. So these were some of the main reasons why I love being a software engineer. I'd be happy to hear your opinion about the job down in the comments and if you can relate to my points, and if you liked the video, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching till the end, and I'll hope I'll see you in the next one.